Hi, I'm here today with Cindy from Emma's Quilting Cupboard in Franklin, Massachusetts. She has graciously allowed us to do a Facebook Live in her store because she has the Husqvarna Viking Platinum Q160 sit-down quilter and I have the stand-up, so I wanted to demo the sit-down. So I asked Cindy to briefly introduce herself and just tell us a little bit of the history of the store or how it came to be and a little bit about the store so that everybody who is in the area knows that um, this is the place to go if you want quilting supplies. Thanks. Um, so I've been in business for 17 years. Um, I started in a different location and we just moved into a new location. Um, about a year ago, so we have 5,500 square feet of just beautiful, beautiful space. Um, I really wanted to create a beautiful environment where we could all showcase what we do um, and really, really pleased. So before being a, a shop owner, um, I actually worked in the management consulting field. I worked there for 22 years um, and was uh, pretty senior when I left but uh, I decided that I was done with that and I took a year off to figure out what I wanted to do next. And I had a great time. I uh, rearranged my house, cleaned out all my linen closets, <laughs> all the stuff that we all say we're gonna get to and we never do. Um, and then I did a lot of volunteer work. Um, but at the end of the first year, I was really missing um, in product. You know, that's what I was, you know, groomed on in terms of working and, uh, and I really missed that piece of it. So I tried to think about ways I could combine my business experience with what my passion was, which was sewing. Um, and I had remembered back to when I was in Los Angeles, um, I grew up on the West Coast and I, the company that I worked for here, I got transferred from, promoted from Los Angeles to Boston. And I remember sitting uh, in the lunch area and there was a woman, her name was Kit, um, she would bring in for lunch and she would do hand quilt, a whole cloth quilt, every day. Mm. And it just fascinated me and I was like, I'd never seen anything like that before and I'm like, I'm at some point in my life I am going to do this. Mm. And then when I moved to Boston, um, lots of cold winters, um, I didn't, you don't realize how much you're outside when you live in a climate like California until you come to a climate like Massachusetts. And um, so I had to find an activity to do during the winter and I remembered that and so I took a quilting class. Um, and that's how it started. Um, and then when I got to the point where I was ready to think about the next career move I was gonna make, um, I decided to combine something that I loved with uh, all my business ability. So um, here we are, you know, 17 years later. Um, so for those of you that haven't seen the store, you'll, you, if you have seen the store, you'll know that her venture was very successful. It's a beautiful store, one of the nicest stores I've been in. I've been in many as I've been an educator. So obviously you knew what you're doing and it has all panned out. And I'm wondering if you would talk a little bit about the store, like uh, what classes you have, if there's any specialty items things that maybe set you apart from other stores? Um, we have a, a wide variety of all kinds of um, styles of quilting and fabric in the store. Um, we do modern, we do civil war, we do contemporary, we do basics, I mean, we, we really do batiks, we do, we do it all. Um, and I know that every store says their number one asset is their customer service. Every store will it's true. stay that, okay? Um, but I believe 150% that that is true for here. And how that manifests itself is in the relationships that we have with our customers. Um, it, they're just amazing. Um, but I think we put the work in. We, I always, when I took on sewing machine line for Husqvarna of Viking, um, I always wanted to be the dealer that I never had. Mm. And I remember when you bought a machine and then you got no support and you know, and I, that was really impactful for me. So we invest a lot in education um, uh, in terms of, you know, having really inspiring and creative classes, you know, in machine embroidery, piecing, bags, contemporary art quilts, we've, we've done all of that. Um, so we, I really am committed to education of helping people um, 
really expand their skill set and just reach for the stars because this is what we all love to do. Um, and if we can help people do that and achieve that, to me, that's a win in my book. And so, and I think people feel that commitment from us um, and they feel like we are their advocate in all aspects of their, their sewing journey, whatever that may be. Um, yeah, that's wonderful. And so I'm just going to say, again, we'll tie this up because we both have things to do before we move on to our Facebook Live today. And I uh, would ask you to hold on because right after this interview, there's going to be a video tour of the store so you can see what it looks like before you come in. And again, thank you, Cindy, for letting us do the Facebook Live here. And uh, happy sewing, everybody. Store, so you can see all the wonderful things that you could come and look at at Emma's Quilting Cupboard. We have plenty of Viking hoops to fit your machines. We've got lots of thread, lots of feet, lots of beautiful machines. Anything you wanted to do with sewing, you could find here. Then they also have a section where they have AccuQuilt supplies, the, the dies, as well as the cutters themselves and also a multi-needle embroidery machine. Then there are lots of different assorted kits here, as well as patterns. Tons of beautiful fabrics of all types. Sample quilts up above to inspire you. Then they also have Minky. For those of you who like Minky, I've recently gotten into Minky myself since I had my first grandchild. Cuddle kits. Oh, I'm going to have to take a look at those. To get in some trouble here. More patterns. And oh, this looks like tulip pink, I would guess. And then lots of batiks and solids. Oh, baby flannel and then they have of course classrooms they do quilting for other people on the long arm they even have a kitchen amazing huh then over here we have some specialty fabrics perhaps for bag making buttons more patterns and then we go over here and we have easy press and flatter i'm a new convert to flatter but i also use easy press quilters select and some other uh, interesting products uh, retain for washing your quilts so that you don't get uh, the colors going places they shouldn't go terry magic and i also like this odie coat I use that for the bottom of bags where um, you're using a fabric that maybe isn't quite as resistant to stains and water as you'd like. It basically puts a, a, a plastic coating on it so that it's nice and strong. And here are lots of needles and other notions. See, the store goes on and on. So much stuff here. And they have lots of interfacing and seam a seam, stick and fuse too, um, some batting and foam, soft and stable. Um, basically, any, anything you uh, are looking for, they probably have it here. Lots of rulers down here. Um, pearl cotton embroidery thread. More rulers and some of this uh, glitter flex and Kimberbell products, more boutiques, more kits, and some interesting fabric that I haven't seen anywhere else before. I like that.